Reds taking out the Rockies on Monday. Bronson Arroyo very comfortable at Great American Ballpark. That's where four of his five wins have come. Opposing Arroyo, Tyler Chatwood, bottom one. The pitch in the dirt, getting a piece of home plate umpire Kerwin Danley. And Danley clearly shaken up by this. Watch it again as the ball ricochets right off Danley's face mask. He would briefly stay in the game, but then leave in the top of the third. Bottom four still scoreless. It is Jay Bruce at first base. Chatwood dealing to Todd Frazier with two outs. And on the pitch, Bruce stealing second base rather unexpectedly. His first swipe of the season. And now Frazier looks to capitalize. And then lost one into short left. They're going to run on the arm. Here comes the throw to the plate. And it gets away from Rosario. And Frazier will slam on the brakes. And now he'll coast into third after the pitcher couldn't pick the ball up cleanly. So Frazier just dunks one into left field. A single, a stolen base, another single. And the Reds have a 1-0 lead. Bottom five now, Rob Scahill pitching for Colorado after Tyler Chatwood pitched four innings, batted in the top of the fifth, and then departed with right tricep soreness. Scahill getting out of a two-on-two-out jam by striking out Zach Cozart. Top seven, strange play here. Rockies have a man at first, one away. A Royal dealing to Todd Helton, who lines it to third. The catch is made, then the throw made across to double up the runner. That is the Reds' contention. Dusty Baker argues, watch this one again, as the ball hits the dirt first, then Helton hits it but the umpires only granting the Reds what they believe is a ground ball out off the bat of Helton. So the inning continues for the Rocks, now with a man at second, two away. Willine Rosario, the shot into right. Jay Bruce, the nice run and grab. No damage done. It's still a 1-0 lead for the Reds. Top eight now, Arroyo's still out there as he faces Dexter Fowler, gets him to ground out to the right side. A four-pitch inning for Arroyo. Bottom eight, it's Bruce at the plate facing Josh Altman. That ball is launched, and the Reds' lead goes to three. Bruce with three hits on the night, none bigger than this one. He gets a fastball up and in and just drops the hammer. This ball goes five rows from being out of the ballpark completely. Reds with the 3-0 victory on Monday night as Arroyo needed just 86 pitches to get through those eight shutout frames before giving way to Aroldis Chapman in the ninth. The Rockies have not yet announced whether Tyler Chatwood will make his next scheduled start. He threw 64 pitches in four innings.